My name is Father Matt Berrios. I actually don't have a position here. I'm going to school right now at the Pontifical Oriental Institute here in Rome. Right now I'm enrolled in the Licenza program, which is basically the Italian equivalent of the master's degree here, hopefully leading into a doctorate, but one step at a time. My being here, my studying Eastern Christian culture and theology here at the Orientale definitely fits in with the Paulist mission in that we are connecting our faith with the experience of the church throughout the world. I first met the Paulists when I was in high school in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I liked the guys in the local community and so I made that the place where I went to worship. It turned out later that my parents had a whole history with them. My mom was received into the church by the Paulists. My parents were even married by a Paulist, so it was almost like it was meant to be. Before joining the Paulists, I actually was in college immediately before that, uh, studying music. I studied classical guitar. It was good. It was fun. I did classical guitar. I did jazz. I studied a little bit of composition and it's something that's helped me out at least as far as liturgy, as far as the aesthetics. It was during that time in college where all that was coming together that the notion inside of me began to grow. The notion of whether or not being a priest was something for me. It got to the point somewhere around my third or fourth year of college that I just couldn't ignore it. And I figured that if it was something that I'm called to do, there's, that there would be nothing to be afraid of. The first time that everything came together was when I did Come and See Retreat. That's the um, biannual retreat that we Paulists do for people who are thinking about the priesthood, in particular think about the Paulus priesthood. It was at that moment, being there with other guys, who were discerning the same questions as me, and me seeing Paulists who have lived their lives working the mission of Isaac Hecker, that I had a sense that this is for me. It felt like I was at home. My first assignment after graduating from seminary and after ordination was actually in New York City at the Paulist Mother Church, St. Paul the Apostle, in Midtown Manhattan. I was there for three years as the associate pastor, really blessed three years. Especially being in New York, you saw just such a broad spectrum of experiences that you could see really just how the church is universal, how it's embodied in the lives of so many different people. Like so many other religious orders, the reason why the church needs the Paulists is that we offer a different perspective. Because again, the church is Catholic and universal, um, and the Holy Spirit works through all baptized Christians, you're going to find that the gifts and particularities and peculiarities of different groups of people enrich the body of Christ. They enrich the experience of the broader church. The manner in which we dialogue, the manner in which we have evangelization as a focus, but an evangelization that's guided by concerns of reconciliation in a time when people had been hurt and alienated by the church, and a time in which we have a sense of all the other Christian churches and organizations and non-Christian groups, I mean, that we share the same planet with. The Paulist experience of being Catholic, American, of trying to reconcile faith and culture, nature and grace, the way that we do it, I would say, is a gift 